Hey, what shaving super friends, how's it going? It is Tim, it is Friday. I know today. Uh, no, just because I made note to, of it earlier. Um, there is no TLDR for this. This could go, uh, you know, moderately quick, or this could take a while. Who the hell knows? So, first, I'm going to put some pre-shave on, because uh, we were putting the kids to bed right as I got out of the shower, and you know what? It's never too late to put moisture on your face. And Pete was down the other day, as, as some of you may have read, and he gave me some... Where is it? It's over here. Edwin Jagger something pre-shave lotion. Uh, let me get some of this out of here. She was like... I always pick the wrong damn side with Jagger containers. See, uh, a bit thick. Kind of actually pearlescent like in consistency. It just smells menthol. Medicated. Get a little splash of water. I don't know about y'all, but I find Parasa works best if I have a damn face. Mm -hmm. Smells a bit, uh, almost Vicks Vapor Rub. No, more like Hall's Cough Drop. Like menthol. Sort of eucalyptus? But not. Not the kind of eucalyptus where you go, oh, eucalyptus. This is just like, is that eucalyptus? And Jean-Michel, uh, for that, I am sorry. Those tiny little uh, differences, you know, when you kind of understand the language and you're trying to watch another video, thank you for watching. Uh, and I apologize for knowing precisely, uh, well, not quite precisely, somewhere between zero and one French. Uh, definitely not a binary thing for me. I think I know a couple of sentence halves and that's about it. So about the face feel, it's uh, nice and menthol -y. And, uh, for those of you who have never met Pete, hell of a nice bloke. It's quite nice to have him come and just hang out. I'm going to put that back. I used hardly any of that. This is going to last a while. So we'll go ahead and put this mm, there. That'll do. Uh, also, because he is a quite generous and nice guy, he brought me a sample of South Sea, uh, which is quite nice. I haven't used it yet. And he stuffed this little container so full, it's actually a pain in the ass to open and close. Mm. He says there's plenty in here for a couple of shaves. By a couple, I think he said four. So we're going to use, you know, Yay, much. And see, well, you know what? You can never be too sure. This is quite soft, even, uh, even for a soap, for a soft soap. I'm go ahead and put a extra aspirin's worth in there. So that's, that's pretty much an almond size snurdle in my bowl. Um, Barely wet fingertips. Um, and because I asked my children to help me pick out my stuff with which I would shave, um, we're going to use the rod nape. I'm going to make that pretty dry because. I like controlling water. Hmm. Quite nice so far. 
That was a big old hunk right there. He was breaking apart smoothly and uniformly. It's interesting to watch that the small pieces get smaller and smaller. I've added zero water and we started pretty dry and we've already got uh, a moderately healthy amount of proto lather there. So let's see what happens. Put, I don't know, a dozen drops of water in there. much of a dent at all. Um, the, the knot has really filled up with ridiculously thick cream and we've got some in the bowl. But that, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know if that was what would be considered a good start. I don't remember if he said this was thirsty. But I would assume from how everyone speaks quite highly of it, it's got a pretty good tolerance for uh, or a wide window of water or hydration range. It is reminiscent of being near the beach, but I, I suppose your idea of the beach depends on what beach you're accustomed to. I mean, it doesn't exactly smell like Great Yarmouth in January. Sorry, it's the only time I've been there. Um, was it January? I seem to recall not wearing a jacket. Might have been March. I don't know. <laughs> I drank a lot. Uh, that was a heck of a weekend. Because it's it's not super far from here. The buddy found a thing on Groupon for a, a B&B that was quite cheap, and she gave us an uh, even better discount because there were three of us booking rooms. Uh, so here we are. It's starting to get sheeny. It's certainly not done taking water. Uh, it's peaky and thick as hell. But it's just a... It's just pleasant, man. It's vaguely salt water. And not in a... Like here I am standing in a shitty little jetty full of old hypodermic needles. It's it's that pleasant bit after a after a thunderstorm when the, when the clouds go away and, and the rain starts to evaporate and the wind is gently blowing there's a sweetness in the air and that's that's what I mean about this and I don't mean sweet in a disgusting cloying kind of way. Um, this is a hard one to describe and you know if I were a professional or something I'd have prepared for this seen what Wickham Soaps said about it. I will stand behind my verb choice there. I said have earlier in that sentence. Helping verbs. Use them. And it's, um, lightly floral. Like, hint. Again, like, like when a breeze comes in after a storm and you get to smell the countryside that you don't normally get because you just shook all the flowers and the leaves up. And all that, uh, all that business that fell off of them had to go somewhere, and that somewhere was the ground. And then as, it, uh, as that water evaporates in the sunlight, now those little tiny particles of pollen and whatnot are blowing in the air and evaporating and ending up in your nose. Hmm. I think we still need water. It's the problem with adding drops at a time. This takes a while, and I'm sorry it's been ten minutes already. Holy shit. And some uppity lather came up and out of the bowl. Yeah, I was right the first time with the amount of soap I needed because this is this is starting to get a bit funny with just how much <laughs> lather we've got here, and it's not even done with water yet. And another reason this takes a little bit longer is because I'm using a, no more pressure than the weight of the brush and the bowl here, because you know. I don't want to break my brushes. See a previous video about that. Or go to uh, Big John's blog and read his post. Uh, I know he got some of his, whoa, shit, 
some of his info about that from Pavkovich, Scott Pav, Pavkovich, sorry, uh, and a few other brush makers. Uh, you know the, the instructions for owning a Simpson, etc. And a nice video there from Jeremy Wilson. This isn't a small ball either. This is this is enough lather to shave my wife's legs. So if you had shave, the amount I've used is maybe enough for you to your face and your head. And it looks amazing. Yogurty, whippy, shiny. So um, I apologize for not knowing your name, Mr. Wickham Soap Dupe. I'm sorry, Mr. Wickham Soap Esquire. I forgot you're British. Um, and, uh, you know, what is that nice? Those are the kind of peaks I can deal with. A little, uh, little Hoovian. You know, they're wibbly wobbly. And this is a 26 millimeter, uh, extra dense, super whiz bang. I will julienne potatoes and mow your lawn for you kind of knot. And that's what's in the bowl. It's just a, it's a lather fest. I would have face lathered, except I've never used this soap before. So my initial lathers are usually test lathers, slash, uh, that's why I go slow. But test lather, it's just easier to do in a bowl. We're going to take our time and work this in. He also brought me, because uh, he's a right old chap, some aftershave of the lime and pomegranate and the lime and pomegranate cream, which I quite look forward to. Man, this smells good. the other thing. He brought me a whole shit pile of blades I haven't tried yet. Very kind of him. Thank you, Pete. And I'm sorry, this one might go a little bit long today. Oh, mustache. I'm going to set my brush in my mug. That would have been bad. Shoot me. No one should have to see me reach up my nostrils. Sorry. Even among friends. Uh, so. What? What we've got here is uh, Wilkes and Gillette's. Seven o'clock of some sort. I'm not actually sure. Yellows came in a yellow wrapper. My green ones came in a green wrapper. Not to message Pete and ask him. Astra SS's, which I've never used. I don't recall if I've ever used Wilkinson Gillette's. I've used uh, plenty of Wilkinson's. I quite like them. Adorco ST300. Wholesale. I finally get to try one. I'm, I'm super stoked about all of these, but especially that one. The Chroma. Uh, I've used the Persona Blues before. I've had Barber's, Med Preps, and Lab Blues. And, you know, your, your Crystals and Red Pack. And in addition, a Rapira, which is what we're going to use today. In... Got a little soggy sitting on the sink. Um, oops. The paper, not the blade. The blade's made out of steel. Come on. We're going to use my Lord L6. And then, 
we're going to use number L6. I have a bit of a surprise here in a minute. And it's not the people walking outside of my house that are quite confusing me. So I'm not used to, uh, not used to pedestrians out here. Quite neighborhood. So, I'll just have a look at that. Yeah, even enough, my face will give. Well, that's quite smooth. That's quite good. I like that. Decent job. It, first pass never does anything amazing for me. Uh, I think we need more water yet. I'll throw some more in there and whip this up. You know what? F it. I'm not going to edit. It's way easier just to throw this into my program and let it convert it to, you know, a, a nice format for YouTube and then upload it. I mean, this is the weekend. You've only got some stuff to do, and chances are most of the stuff you have to you think you have to do, you're just going to put off till next week anyway. I said I was going to mow the lawn and wash the car, and oh, fuck it, it's going to rain, right? Okay. So, remember I said we're going to use a L6 and then an L6? Why? I throw this behind me, but it is even though it's a little, it'll make a lot of noise in my kitchen. Right Look at this bad son of a bitch. Whoops. Now you're gonna put it in the right spot. Um, Pete's letting me borrow this handle. If you remember a while back, Pete Marshall had made a post about handles, and he said I should try this. It's heavy. It's like hold it in your fist and kill someone heavy uh, without the razor head, you know, like a roll of quarters or whatever ergonomic for you. Wow, that's so heavy. Wow, that wakes this razor right up. That's quite nice. Like if if once you the way I, it's working nicely for me. I just let the pinky hold the weight of this and let it kind of, almost like an orbit, fall, but never really change in height, which uh, quite, seems quite effective. Wow. Okay, got on the order one. I'd be lying if I told you the worst really difference. Certainly felt easier to use if I can give points for that, but that's subjective. What if you don't like heavy shit? Well, then you'd know that and you wouldn't care. The knurling is is okay. It's really fine. Uh, when your hands are dry, it's really grippy, and it's certainly not slippery. I'm not giving you that impression. Um, it doesn't feel any different than a mule handle. Uh, actually, it feels about the same as the Slim, and it's less slippery than uh, a single ring. Just a smidge less grippy than a Mercure Slam, short handle Slam. Um, so the Neuron could be a little less fine, and then it would have that... Um, if you lift weights and you, you've dealt with a really nice Olympic bar with serious knurling, you know it'll kind of tear you up a little bit. Excuse me, it would approach that territory 
But again, you're not trying to deadlift a few hundred pounds with a razor, so it's not like it's going to destroy your fingers. Don't worry your pretty little face about that. Certainly helps me hold the razor flatter. What I mean is by not using much pressure and just letting the sheer mass of this thing pull things down, it forces me to make better, flatter contact with my face, which is pretty sweet. Oh, that almost sucked. Now, it's a real porker, too. Uh, let's see. What's everybody have? What do I use? A mule or Edwin Jagger handle? See, if I line those up so that they're pretty much parallel on this side, you can see it's, I don't know, a third again is much about 30% wider than this. Again, if I were a professional, I'd have measurements and shit. Let slim. You can see it's. Get your finger out of the way, dummy. Try and get those even down at six o'clock. It's. Okay, that's the, too much trigonometry for my brain. Uh, but it's 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 fat. And it's again, you could you could wound somebody with it, perhaps mortally. That was a, quite a nice first pass. It's been a day and a half since I shaved. I shaved yesterday morning. It is now nine, nine hours past the PM mark. Nice. I was intrigued by a garden mint, but I might have to go with this. Because I, I had mentioned I bought a pack of soft mints to see what they smelled like. I had an idea. Uh, and oh, what have I done? There we go. Um, I quite fancy that smell. And it's, it, it is nice. I'd like to try the cola, and I'd like to try the Bay of Rum. And, well, of course, I want one of everything. It's not like if you'd have turned me loose in a BMW dealership in 2002 to buy an E46 M3. I know exactly what I want. You turn me loose in a place with uh, shaving and hygiene and grooming products that work well and smell nice, I will just say, I'd like one of everything, please. And then I have my wife uh, and fortunately a, a limited amount of cash that prevents that from happening. So let's see how I do here coming across the grain. This, this is where the balance gets a little weird, because now the head's pretty light because it's not being it's anchored by this. I'm kind of fighting it, and that's really weird. And this is not necessarily an indictment of this handle. It's more on its characteristic as a piece of stainless. Just sheer with this size used as a as a handle for a razor. I've never dealt with a heavy 
handle before. I mean, I've pretty much mentally calculated the adjustment I need in terms of motor control. So it's not like it's insurmountable. If you're into science, or you like pretty things and learn to learn interesting things about the world, uh, doing good so far. Soap has a really good feel. Uh, if I wasn't crazy about rinsing, I'd probably just let it go. Because it feels really good. Um, and anyway, if you like science, uh, the periodic Paradox table of videos on YouTube today uploaded a video uh, with some some high speed, but not you know slow mo guys and smarter every day kind of high speed stuff, but high speed stuff um, about solvated electrons. So what you need is you need a doer with a bunch of dry ice and some. Um, isopropanol in the bottom of it, and then you take uh, a nice double-walled test tube and you put a bunch of ammonia in it so that it doesn't boil off. I think I may have added too much water to this. It's not your fault, the soap company. It's not you, it's me. Um, and then you put a bunch of sodium in there. Sodium's quite happy telling some of its electrons to piss off and uh, just hanging around with a positive charge. So what happens is uh, you'll, you'll reach a certain molar tipping point where you will then have almost like a layered drink in a bar where they separate. And you've got a layer of essentially solid free electrons just chilling. And they look, I have no idea how color accurate my monitor is, but they look sort of like silver that hasn't been polished for a couple of weeks. Silver, a hint of bronze or brass in it, Quite shiny, really pretty, and it was just really cool to just look at a band of electrons an inch thick in a test tube and go, wow, there's your parts of atoms. Sweet. I'm weird, what can I say? And if you're nerdy, I would, oh, I would guess that you know about all of Brady Heron's YouTube channels. He does number file, periodic table of videos, deep sky videos, computer file. He does a, a word one. He does a food one. About food science one. Uh, he's a documentary, or was a photojournalist slash documentarian who's now got a really badass series of channels on YouTube. And I'm not going to ascribe personality traits or similarities between Mr. Hare and I, but he seems to be almost as insatiably curious about things as I am, which is why I love the questions he asks of uh, the people he works with, which is usually folks from the University of Nottingham.
This uh, Rapira is doing a very nice job. Really smooth. It's not the closest shape I've ever done, but damn if it isn't comfortable. This may look like it's awkward, and to an extent it kind of is because I'm trying to really keep this flat. I don't want it to skip. I'm not sure how pendulum-y it's going to be. And no, I can't say that five times fast. When you make up a word, you can't even remember what you said. That's one of those things that I know that I don't know. That's not an unknown unknown. And the thing I love about that phrase, and the making fun of Rumsfeld that goes with it, because he's a douche. Although his letter to the IRS that he filed with his taxes was brilliant. I'll give him credit for that. Um, is I, I remember quite possibly being uh, in a very green state of mind in my past life, lying in bed watching TV. Fox News um, was kind of my thing at the time because, you know, we were either about to or just started a war. I didn't join the military yet. And he's, you know, doing the press conference and he starts talking about things that we know that we don't know and things that we don't know that we don't know. And I just stoned as fuck, sit up in bed and go, this guy has no idea what the hell he's talking about. He's really an idiot. That's incalculably stupid. And ever since then, I've been paying attention to the news more for humor. Because some of the things that come out of the mouths of people we re rely on to be informed, not necessarily educated, I'm not asking for a, uh, our representative government to uh, be experts in matters of science and everything that they legislate about, but I'd really like them to be informed. I'd really like them to be informed. We pay them a shitload of money. It's the least they can do for us, right? Anyway. Uh, so that's when I really started looking at the news uh, for a couple of reasons, and some of them slightly morbid, because I... I it's, well, it's not morbid. It's, it's kind of gallows humor to take... Because I, I have the option to be upset and mad at the world about it. Or I could just laugh at how, how some of these people come off as really unintelligent at times. And I won't call them stupid. Because to have a political mind, it all requires a certain, a, a, a certain neural activity. Um... We did. Let's feel around. That area needs love, but I'm not going to do it. That area needs love. See, it's, it's always that spot. This is nice and clean. This is a mess. That's pretty good. The corners of my mouth are ugly. That's, well, the whole face is ugly. These are just my typical trouble spots. And, you know, to a, a certain point, I don't chase it, but that's almost like I've never really even touched it. That's better. That's just a trouble spot. It's not that it's a mess. You, you can't feel it if you don't press, but if you put a little tension on it, can tell because these hairs just go crazy in that little spot. Face feels great. 
And this is, you know, normal trouble is right at the top of my Adam's apple. It's the biggest pain in the ass because like right in the center of my Adam's apple where it points out the most, I pretty much stopped growing hair. And the other thing about this silk is uh, my, my sink, my wash basin doesn't seem to be particularly soap scummy. Oh, the razor's got some gunk on it, but that's par for the course. Hmm. Um, so that's that. I'll be damned. What a good soap. That's quite nice. And I screwed it up. But it was still really good. I just put too much water in it. Um... Let's see, what else do we have here? That's an aqua velva and some Gillette cooling lotion. I figured it goes with the theme of refreshing English seaside. Put that back in my cup and let it soak. Um, I was probably making a point about YouTube earlier. I don't fucking know. No, I've not been drinking. I just, it's Friday. I don't give a shit. So, well, well. I mean, you know, if you're old enough to take steel to your face, probably old enough to deal with. Uh, but, hmm, the seasoning of, uh, a vocabulary that I, I choose to indulge in from time to time. Because every once in a while you just want a little extra pepper on something, a little extra salt. Um, they're, they're word seasonings, really. And, you know, even though you, you just want to... Scream that I, I think you're you're bad and you should feel bad. Have that kind of moment. Sometimes just dropping the uh, well, I've, I've started calling it the McGillicuddy bomb because that's kind of a Joe Rogan thing. Uh, it's it's part of a disparaging nickname you have for people, but it's it's basically um, the C bomb, the C next Tuesday kind of thing, and. I've taken to calling it McGillicuddy because I think that in and of itself is funny and uh, it's just socially acceptable and I can convey how I feel in an instant to people around me that know this without really getting anyone riled up about it or being socially unacceptable, like saying it in the company of children or something like that. So I do, I do try to hold it down to what you would hear on you know, late night television, because I, I know you might have your kids around. I watch videos while my kids are up, and I do have to uh, extend some some care as to what they hear, because it's not always feasible for me to put on headphones. Some days you just don't want to isolate yourself from your family while you watch videos. Even though the act of sitting at your computer kind of is slightly isolating, but not to the extent of putting on some headphones and, and checking out for the afternoon is. Um, so that's, that's why I try to tone it down if you hang out with me. Uh, my choice of vocabulary just depends on what we're talking about. If we're just being a bunch of stupid guys, yeah, I'm like a sailor. I've worked in aircraft maintenance for 10 years. Um, but, um, you know, if, if we're discussing astronomy or interests and passions, I, I use a different side of my brain. I don't use the lizard brain for that. I try to be more articulate. Ow! <clears throat> See, that almost happened there. Lizard brain kicked in because I stepped on this, which keeps my kids from getting their fingers into shit they shouldn't.
I guess we'll put on some aftershave balm and stop wasting all your time. I thought this was a great idea, but the cooling lotion was in the tube for a reason. It's not the easiest thing to dab out. Uh, verdict on the handle. I like it. I could get used to it. I might want it to be a little skinnier, but we'll see. I think I'm going to order one. They seem to be priced very well, uh, and, and cheers Pete for letting me borrow it. I'm going to bounce it around on a couple of different razors and see what I think, um, but I should have it back to you within a week. And uh, Wickham South Sea? Absolutely filled with wind. I like it. Uh, and, and here's, now you may be saying, Tim, why do you like it? Because you effed up the lather. And you're right. I did. And I still got a great shave. That is the hallmark to me of a really good soap. Mitchell's Wool Fat. Unless you don't lather that stuff at all, you're going to get a pretty good shave. I keep forgetting to look at the thingy. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, unless you forget to actually get bubbles going, you're going to get a good shave with Mitchell's. That's just how it is, or at least that's my experience with it. And that's kind of my, my benchmark of a soap or a cream. How badly can I mess the lather up and still get a good shave out of it? And, uh, yeah, I screwed this up pretty decently. And it was really good face feel right now. I feel quite good. I use moisturizers and balms all the time, so... That's why I always seem to be putting one on. I don't really need it for soothing properties. I rely on alum and witch hazel to take care of that for me. This is uh, Jovan Musk. I was trying to keep clean, refreshing, kind of oceany things going through the shave, but it had to break down somewhere. I was in the mood for musk. Thought about my grandfather earlier, and he used to wear that, so. Uh, there you go. Man, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Uh, I'm going to. I go back to work on Monday for a couple of days. Then I'm back off again, so. See you. Take care.